All right, Seattle, they're raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. It's the highest in the United States, and it's going to be phased in over a period of a few years. But, by the way, this article is at the LA Times. Pictured over here in the purple is Mrs. Savant, right? A radical socialist, right? And what's really ironic, right? She's, a, she's an individual that preaches socialism, right? And she's Indian. And if she looked at what happened in India, right, under Prime Minister Nehru, right, who's a socialist, India didn't prosper during that time, and yet she's preaching socialism. Quite ironic. But anyways, let's go into this article, right? So $15 an hour, and it's going to be the highest municipal minimum of any metropolis in the country and the rallying cry of fast food workers and union organizers nationwide. Notice that, unions, okay? And then you want to go down in this. Other cities, such as San Francisco, they're discussing raising its minimum wage to $15 an hour. LA is looking at $15 an hour for hotel workers. San Diego is mulling $13 an hour wage, and Oakland is considering 12.25. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. So if you have these socialists talking about, hey, we should have a $15 an hour minimum wage. But these are the same type of individuals who are proponents of the Federal Reserve. Not every one of them, but the academics, right? Like Krugman, Stiglitz, and all, all those guys, right? They're in favor of the Federal Reserve. But in fact, they're pom-poming for the Federal Reserve, but at the same time, they're saying, hey, we need a higher minimum wage. So they're saying no inflation, Federal Reserve is awesome, but we need to have a higher minimum wage. It's in fact contradictory, right? They're basically saying that we are losing our purchasing power, and since we're losing our purchasing power, we need to have a higher minimum wage in order to alleviate that situation. They're not going to say that it's the Federal Reserve's fault. No, what they're going to say, it's big business fault, right? It's the entrepreneur who is, number one, fighting day in and out against big government in order to provide us services, right? In order to live a better life. So this is what's going on. You get all these lefties saying, hey, no inflation, but we need a higher minimum wage. Here's the problem with all of this. All right, I'm looking at the New York Times right now, and it talked about what would happen if they raised the minimum wage to $15 an hour. This is what restaurant employees were talking about. All right, let's just look at this. Restaurant industry officials have balked at so high a wage, saying it would sharply raise fast food prices and reduce employment, in part by fueling automation of some jobs. They called the demand of $15 an hour a non-starter as far as negotiating, excuse me, as far as initiating negotiations. Look at that. Fueling automation, right? This is what these individuals who are proponents of the minimum wage, they're not understanding the fact that if you have this minimum wage, how are businesses going to react? If you've ever worked in accounting and finance, right? you look at these spreadsheets what are these individuals going to do they're gonna say okay we're gonna to have to pay a higher salary to these individuals that probably should be making somewhere between eight to ten dollars an hour so if you raise the cost there how can we lower the cost down the road how could we do that one way is going to be automation let's just look at a few other things all right, so let's look at uh, Panera, right? So what happens if Panera says, you know what? How are we going to save costs? Well, you're going to see more of these kiosks, right? So you order without a cashier. And if you go to any of these big stores such as Walmart, etc., right? You're seeing a lot of individuals not being cashiers, right? They're being eliminated. They're being eliminated by technology. So if you raise the cost of hiring an individual, they're just going to automate this process just to save the bottom line, right? Whether you like it or not, the reality is humans are going to be replaced by robots, by technology. 
All right, so uh, let's just look at another paragraph here. But even experts, this is on the New York Times site, but even experts who support some increase worry that a raise to $15 an hour would have profound effects on the industry. Arun Rajat Dubey, an economics professor at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, said an increase in $15 an hour would push up the fast food prices nearly by 20%. With the industry estimating that one third of its costs go to labor, he said a $15 wage would mean wage increases averaging around 60%, raising the cost of a hamburger from $3 to 350 or 360 right? That may not seem a lot in cents, right? But at the same time, if you are adding it all around to consumers all around the United States, it's going to add up. And the unintended consequence is that higher wages will lead to higher prices and in addition to that you're going to see individuals or you're gonna see firms hire less people so those individuals that get paid fifteen dollars an hour they're gonna win but for those individuals now that are gonna be replaced by technology well who's gonna fight for them now so this is the reality, right? There's no such thing as a free lunch, and there is inflation. And the proof is that why would all these states want to raise the minimum wage? Simple. You have inflation all around us, and it's been happening slowly but steadily over the past hundred years since the Fed was created. But this is what Paul Krugman will not tell you. This is what Mike Norman will not tell you. Anyways, thanks for listening to me, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.